in a world where artistry meets adversities, where trends of dream wave the tapestry of hope. We introduce you to the remarkable life of a resilient fashion designer, a woman of substance, strength and style, Miss Precious Aboluade. She is not just a creative fashion designer, she is a true visionary of the fashion world. Her hands create masterpieces, her heart tells stories through fabric, and her name has become synonymous with elegance. But her journey goes far beyond the sewing machine. Beyond the trends and fabric, Precious is a loving wife and a dedicated mother to her twin boys. She knows the delicate balancing of nurturing her family while pursuing her passion. Residing in the serene rural area of PPL, a place known for its tranquility, Precious defines the odd. Her artillery is not just where she designs, it's a sanctuary where dreams take shape. Miss Aboluade also shares her wealth of knowledge with budding talents. Her apprentice includes students from Lagos State University, demonstrating her commitment to nurturing the next generation of designers. Her determination is all inspiring. She is a fashion mogul who has been in leading the textile industry in her community. Her vision extends beyond the treads. She weaves opportunity for her community, one stitch at a time. Despite facing many challenges, Miss Precious remains resolute in her mission. She's not only a designer, but a symbol of resilience, a beacon of hope, and an embodiment of the human spirit's boundless potentials. As we go deeper into her extraordinary journey, we discover a woman willing to grow, to inspire, and to empower. Join us as we unravel the tapestry of her life, the story of a resilient fashion designer, Miss Precious Apoluade. This is her story. It's a story of artistry, family, and unwearing determination. Stay with us as we explore the world she's created and the dreams she continues to sow together. Precious Abuluatade, Mrs. Precious Abuluatade. I'm a fashion designer. I'm a school sat liver at secondary school. Though I had the intention of going to the university, but my parents were not that buoyant, so I had to to go for fashion designing. And truly, I love what I'm doing. I have passion for it. And I have the intention to further my education if I have the time. Let me say the time because I'm not a mother and it's, it's, it's not been easy coping with work, being a mother, a wife. So when I'm, I think when I'm free, 
and the children are grown, I can further them because I love to be educated. Um, I started fashion designing like some years after my secondary school because I had the intention of going to school, but since the I was not my uncle was not financially buoyant enough to to con to send me to school, so I had to opt for fashion designing. So I started it a bit late. I think like like say um, six seven years after my secondary school, because I was having the aim of going back, but. So I just have to opt for fashion design. I, what do you want? You don't understand again. Both positive and negative. Um, it's been interesting so far. Though I had a pause when I was pregnant with my twins. So I was when I came back it's not been easy coping with the twin and work, being a mother, a wife and working has not been easy so far i think that's the negative part of it but i i hope with when the twins are a bit grown things will take shape yeah when i started there was not much support it wasn't easy i had to start small and to the glory of god i've been growing though i wish to I wish my workshop was more bigger than is more bigger. <laughs> I wish my workshop would be more bigger than this. So I started small and the glory of God has been growing. And wish to be more better and bigger. Well it's not been easy coping with the children and my work and being a wife because there are some times that my clients will call me and I'll have to decline their, their offer or their jobs because I know I won't be able to meet up with them so generally it's not been easy Oh, mom. <laughs> ah, I'm pro Fincha. This one now, one of those. Is it only the same phone that both of them use? Yes, at times I just play this somewhere for them, for both, uh, for them both to watch. Pillows. Ah, we have up to, I think, we should be up to six or seven pillows on this street. On this street. Yeah. The competition. Then how are you managing? I believe if you if you know what you are doing, you always get your customers. At least six to seven different customers have come here for their clothes. But I'm not seeing you so still one person you are so easy. How how do you plan on meeting up with all of these people now? Um I won't lie. At times I disappoint. <laughs> I would like, and I guess they too understand. They understand to some extent. So, but it's not been easy. Like, I know it's just the grace of God. It's not been easy. I, I started from the same street, but a smaller shop. Very, very small shop. And because I was not financially buoyant when I finish my finish learning so aside from a very small show but I guess with time I just had to move the when I started when I wanted to start I I have the I, I I have the intention of starting with students. I, I like sewing for young people. Yeah. yeah. I like sewing for young people. That was my intention. And I believe God granted me that wish. Uh, you are even at the art of West students now. Yeah. I've Malaysia been in this area, in this area, let's say, seven years. 
seven years. That's a long time. Yeah, it is. The beginning and now, most like, what can, how, what can you say is the difference and how you are survived from? You know, this is PPL now. The rumors I know about PPL is that if you could be then, I used to hear that PPL is rough, is this, is that, hot, and all of that. But you say you have been here for seven years. How has yeah. your experience been and how have you been able to live with that, if that is even true? Yeah, it's true. People is, is a rough area and it's still rough, just a bit fairer than before. So, um, the security wise, it's, 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 it's not, it's not what, it's not encourageable. I mean, it's not encouraging. Let me just, let me, I don't know. I don't really like the security issues with people, but that's because I have the intention of saying for students, for young people. So I think that's why it's taking me here. Yeah. Have you ever been in any way harassed by the situation of insecurity here? Yeah. Yes, Can yes. Most times you just be sewing and you just hear sound of gunshots and you just there was a day there was a day actually i was because i used to stay to you late as i used to stay to you let's say eight nine so that day i was just sewing and i just had i think we had a gunshot and the next thing we had they killed someone at the other streets and within i can i can still remember vividly within 10 minutes i just had to pack my things inside it's it was just like even me, I don't, I don't, anytime I remember it, I don't believe I could pack my things within 10 minutes. In this area. Yeah. yeah. Where do you, did you have your twins at that time? No, 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 no. I, I, I had just a child. I have a, a girl then. But the girl is with the dad. Um, but, is this your only student? No, I have other students that are last two students. So they only come around when they are free, mostly weekends, when they are free, when they don't have lectures. So they only come around or when, when they are free, sure, when they are free. Uh, have you ever had any students uh, issue but sometimes some of us we young ones but at this time I will tell you not like any major issue with your student ever is it like a customer or no, maybe or a client student to a client that or student to you directly yeah I have issues with them at times you no know? I believe they are young and at times they don't, they can't, I mean, I would like to see, they don't really know what our, our life issue has um, Electricity has been an issue because as you can see, my machine is electric. It uses um, electricity. So most times we don't have light around here. So, at times, like there was a time I did my calculation of fuel that I get per week. It's it's close to fifteen to twenty thousand every week. Most times, if there is no light, so if twenty thousand gets out of your weekly stuff, so you know, so it has been a challenge as well. As a lot with the fuel price currently. Yeah, with the fuel price currently. Formerly, I used to spend like 7,000, 8,000 every week. Nice. Nice. Close to 15 to 20,000. Has, has that affected your pricing? Yes. It's, it has to some extent. But you know, we are in a student area and the competition is, is much. We have other tailors. You can I just increase your price and all of that? Yeah, uh, we are in a student area and the competition is much. You can't just 
though the price has been increased a bit but it's not compared to the increment in in general so it's really affecting our take home fee my take home fee so light insecurity how about Okay, so the location is even good, right? The location in accordance to getting customers. This is like where you want to be. Uh, the location is, is okay. It's okay, but I would have preferred somewhere safer and, um, and spacious, more spacious. So, now. Personally, aside being a parent, what else do you do? What else I do? Yes, personally. Apart from being, so, from this sewing, being a mother of mm -hmm. these two children, <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do something else? Uh, do I have the intention of doing something else, but for now, I'm being restricted. Because the... The workload, I say the workload, yeah. So, uh, for now, what you just do? Being a mother of the two giants. Yes, and, and sewing and, and being a wife. How have you been able to manage this together and meet up with it? And you know, you, know you said before, sometimes you don't meet up. I want to share, like, elaborate on that, how you manage everything. Because we are still here and people are still coming. Yeah. Though it's not been easy, let me not lie. Let me not lie, it's not been easy. Most times I wake up at night to work. Yeah, most times I wake up at night. I can remember when my children were under, I think, under a year or so. Even before I started, there was a customer I used to sew for that sews ready to wear. So she she begged me to. Then I've not started working in the shop. So she just begged me to sew some clothes for her clients. So I just had to wake up at night to do them. Because during the day, it, it was impossible. So I just had to wake up at night. Even that night, there was a time my husband came and he brought one of the twins for me to breastfeed. And I was like, she had to help me. After your freedom, starting from your other shop, have you ever gone back? Maybe some people used to go back to a bridge. Do you understand? There are new styles there. Or how do you do you just Yeah, you can you, you know the, we are living in the modern world now, you can always do that online. Oh. So what you basically do online? Yeah. First of all, that is No, not just watching online, you can have it put online. Do yeah, you can do upgrade online. Do you do that? Yeah. Okay, like teach people do, online. How do you, for yourself, how okay. do you uh, get yourself better? Yeah, it's online. You can have a tutor online. You can pay for a class. Maybe like you you are not good at something. Let's say corsets. You know, corsets is trending now. Mm -hmm. So it's trending and you are not good at it. It's, we didn't we learn thoughts when we learn. So... You can always get someone to tutor you online how to do it, either personally or in a group. Yeah, so you I, just, you just so get so just so get them paid. The yeah, at times, not most of the time. At times, at times, I'll just watch YouTube videos. If you have passion for something, just you just start from somewhere, especially when the finances is not there, the money is not there to start with. So you start from somewhere and gradually we've been growing and we intend to grow more than this. Was it the one in this place? Yeah, you... yeah, the first shop I opened down the street. How did that go for you? How did you go for you? Like, how did you go? Did you just really start with performers? Um, you can't just start having customers. So you can't just start having customers. I think for a start, 
if you want to grow your business, you don't just look at um, profit. You don't just look at profit. You just you can just lower your price a bit than your competitors so that you can get customers. And when they get to know your job, that your job is fine, your job is good, it's okay, then you can begin to increase your price. I always tell my apprentice to that when you are learning, don't look at the don't be money oriented for that time. At time, just collect your friends' clothes, tell them you can make it. You can even buy lining for them, make it for them, and with time, you can grow your customers. So you started like this, bro, doing this thing Yeah. Mm -hmm. how did you, then how did you start picking up? Yeah, initially it was, it was, it wasn't easy because when I started, I, I was scared at first. I was scared, yes, I won't lie, I was scared, Hello. scared of um, spoiling people's clothes because where I learned, the issues I had with her was that she was not the type that would explain to you in like the way she cut her clothes. She would just cut clothes at times, she would cut it from home and bring it to just sew. So, generally, that place you learn how to sew, you learn how to you'll be good at sewing. But cutting, and I think it's, 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 it's something that is common with most roadside tailors. They don't teach their apprentices how to really cut clothes. You just learn how to sew and, and, Cutting of clothes to be an issue for you. So generally, it's, it's a roadside tailor thing. But I used to tell my apprentice that I learned in the, in the hard, hard way. But since I see it as an hindrance, me, I, I intend to improve on that. At times, environment matters. There are some kind of environments you be, and people will be like, surely I'm not sure, Isha. Surely, surely it gets down here. But at times, you just maybe when you get customer review, you you can from there get a bigger a bigger client. When you serve for a customer, the customer likes it. It's a two way thing, and the customer likes it. <laughs> and the customer likes it so. They can bring bigger customer for you that when they see your work and they are okay with it, they'll be fine, even if they are not from this environment. First and foremost, my job, I'm very, very passionate about it. I guess that is what is keeping me going because really it's crazy coping with these kids and all. Mostly, it's, it's just because they're, in, they're, they're not in school today, they are not feeling that too well. Mostly it is when they are in school, I just, from when I drop them in school, I have time to do work until they are back from school. So, I'm just trying to cope and I don't want to get a maid. I don't want to get a maid because of the stories flying up and down. I just, I just want to be in their lives. I don't just want to keep them with a maid and be doing my work. I just want to be part of their lives, their life anyway. So I get I get I guess the thing of is a is a time thing with time. Ah. With, <laughs> with time everything will fall back in place. Um I'm a tailor. I saw this book as in custom made clothes. Like you come in you check in, I measure you, sew it to your taste and to your to your body size, your design. And I make ready to wear to maybe you have a party to go and you don't have time for me to sew. Because normally if you come and you want to sew clothes to your taste, you have to give me like a period of a week or five days minimum for you to get it. So if you don't have that time you can come in for your ready to wear i have ready to wear section so where you get your ready to wear and you are good to go
Then I sell materials as well. I deal in, I sell Ankara's. I sell um, English materials like um, cotton material, silk, and um, crepe materials. So you can choose from your, from my um, loads of materials and from my material and I sew for you. You can as well bring in your material and I sew for you. So, and uh, I teach, I teach all people to on how to sew. I teach all people on how to sew. Mostly I do that on Saturdays. And on Saturdays when I'll, my workload is a bit, a bit free. So I do that on Saturdays. I teach all people on how to sew. Because I'm Christiana Oluwa Kemi by name. I'm a graduate of Lagos State University. I studied chemistry, Department of Chemistry. I studied chemistry. Then I finished school. That was 2022. That was last year. Then my main reason for coming here is because I don't want to like hunt for a job. That's why I just say, let me just focus on my hands. But since I already have idea of it, and I, and I love this work, that's why I came here to come and like further more about the training. Here, yeah, like my little experience here, yeah, like I love my boss because she's a very nice person and she's very good at her work. Very good at her work. And my own little experience again, she's taking care of twin again. Ah, then I see that she's a very hard working person and she's very good at teaching her apprentice for that. And she's good at explaining very well. She's a very nice person, very friendly and if you know you if you know you are like confused about something she likes recapping like she likes going back she likes going back to where she stopped or if you tell her that ma i don't understand what you just did here yeah, she'll like go back she doesn't mind going back like explaining it over and over again, again. it's important thing just like i tell my um apprentice that always come to learn the most important thing is for you to have passion for what you are doing i guess if you have passion for what you are doing it tends to push you no matter the challenges you have on your way because there is nothing you want to do in life that you don't have challenges but your passion with what you want to do makes makes you to push further and want to get to where you are going to so i just i feel it's you having passion. Finances can challenge you and some other things. You at times, but when you have passion for what you do, generally, I think when you have passion for what you are doing. I am Tade Abolua Precious Mrs. and I'm a fashion designer.